Hey, it's Sick Boy from the Gaming Analysis Collective, and I thought I'd make some use today and introduce star of STFU, Josh McFraggle, to come along and help me out with videos, see how this one goes, and we'll see where we go from here. Now, I've got a news story that I would like Josh to cover for me, and I will then provide the commentary. So we'll see how things go. Josh, are you there? Hello, Sick Boy. Yes, I'm here. Okay, fantastic. If you can just crack on. Okay, terrific. Hello, everyone. My name is Josh McFraggle. Transformative media creator and armchair academic. I've been reading an article from Forbes today that's made me very, very disturbed. And that is that our technology is swimming with bacteria. It seems that our surfaces, our phones, tablets, and even video game controllers are full of bacteria. Now you'd think the most bacteria laden place would be your toilet, but no, it turns out that your iPhone may have up to 10 times the amount of bacteria, or your game controller. <coughs> Terrifying, no, it makes me squeak. That squeak is in fact my asshole. <coughs> Squeaking with fear. You see, a study done at the University of Surrey, not really a study, okay, Josh, but more a project, Josh, I'm cut you off there, has that is shown the dumbest thing that, uh, I have heard in a very, uh, uh, very long time. Let me just show, no, no, <sighs> shut up. Let me just show you something, hang on. Here, here we have an incredibly dusty, sure you can see, N64 controller. Okay, let me just, uh, okay, I'll tell you when I don't die from this. Listen, the reason that there's bacteria on shit like cell phones and controllers is because bacteria is on our fucking hands. Bacteria is on over our entire body. The reason there's more bacteria on things we touch than on our toilet seat is because there's more bacteria on our hands than on our ass. It's very fucking simple. We live with a symbiotic relationship with bacteria. I'm not gonna hear this shit because the professor, the doctor who actually came up with this research, went to my university. So I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because I was tutored by his seniors. So I'm gonna make this very, very clear. He is making a valid point. What he's not mentioning is, he's not said, there's not a pathological outcome to this. This just happens. Bacteria is fucking everywhere. So wherever our grubby little fucking mitts are, there's bacteria. It's pretty fucking simple. There are millions and millions and millions of bacteria living on us. We're basically a tube of meat, right? Calcified bone and meat, literally from mouth to arse, is literally a, is literally a tube. Inside and outside, we are covered in bacteria. When bacteria gets into our bloodstream, then we have a fucking problem. But in general, that's not the case. That's why we scab, that's why things exist, that's why we use antiseptics on wounds and the like. It's pretty fucking simple. This is stupid poxy, clickbaiting shite, and I would expect better from Forbes, to be honest. This is just scaremongering. Oh, oh no, your cell phone's got bacteria on it. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck off, it's ridiculous. Don't buy into this stupid crap. Seriously, trust me, toxicologist here, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. This is dumb, and should never have been written up in the first place. This kind of research, I think, is pointless. I really do think it's pointless. I understand that, you know, lecturers, that, you know, st uh, students, professors, postdocs, they need to have their research grants, they need to produce their research. I don't have a problem with the research existing. What I do have the problem with is scientifically illiterate people reporting on it in a scaremongery fashion. I'm sorry, there's nothing to worry about here. This is stupid, stupid crap. Your hands are dirty, in adverted commas. You don't die because you put your fingers to your lips all the time, do you? If you put your fingers to your lips, you don't die. The reason we eat with utensils is because it's just cleaner and it's easier to cut meat. Yes, you could do it with your bare hands. That's why almost every single society has some method of a barrier between your fingers and food. Because before we had shit like soap, yeah, mucky fingers could kill you. We live in the most privileged fucking time in existence. I hate the word privilege, but let's be honest. Everything is so sterile and clean. Don't be freaking out over bacteria living on your controller. And if I happen to die from licking that N64 controller, you can all leave a comment on what a twat I am. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.